gel, applying gel, the basics of gel application. Picking it up and working the gel on the nail from the cuticle area to the free edge. How do you do it? How do you control the product in a way that allows you to have success consistently? If you've ever been intimidated by gel, those days are gone. It's time for nail school. Gel, what we got? When I'm working with a beginner who's never touched uh, a gel, it's all about product control. You can see the base gel, how thin this is, right? When you pick up something this thin, you do not want to do this. You do not want to pick it up and go like this. This creates a mess, okay? What you want to be able to do, again, and, and you're trying to get that tail, see that little tail? Break it off the side of the jar. Did you see that? Pick it up. See, I have a nice little tail. Tap it off the side. Bam. Take a look how it's on one side of the brush. You see how it's on one side of the brush? Yeah, clearly you can see it. Okay, now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it right to here. Do you see how I kind of keep it in front of the brush? And I'm going to brush it forward with even pressure from cuticle to free edge. If I have excess product on the brush, I could just wipe it onto the tile. See that? And then I'm going to use the rest of the product to gently brush the rest of the product from cuticle to free edge. See that? And I'm going to clean my brush by wiping it on the tile. The next thing we're going to work with is I'm gonna show you basically how to work with two types of builder gels. You have one that's thick, low self-leveling features. It will self-level, but it takes time. You could do multiple fingers at a time and you're working with a product like this. Then you have a thin viscosity. See how this one moves? Look at that, rolling the jar. So there are two, again, two different builder gels. This is concealer pink and this is build pink. Okay? okay. I want to show you guys how to work with both. Okay. Okay. So take a look at how I'm actually going to pull. See this? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull. I'm going to tap it off the side. I have it on one side of my brush. Mm -hmm. I'm going to set it down to the cuticle area. Watch this. I'm going to go over the top over the top, I'm gonna to go over the top, over the top, over the top to get it from one side to the next. Then, as soon as I finish the cuticle area, I can start swinging the gel. See how I'm keeping contact with the surface of the gel? See how I'm keeping contact as I am start swinging it down. Swing. See how I'm swinging it down keeping really light contact with the surface of the gel as I'm swinging the product into place. Look at how fast I'm actually able to overlay the whole entire nail. You see that? Mm -hmm. Take a look at that. Okay, so that is when you're working with a self-leveling gel. When you work with a thicker gel, yeah. okay, I'm not going to be able to just pull. I actually have to take the tip of the brush and I have to kind of scoop it out. You see I'm scooping it? Take a look at that. See I'm scooping it? Yeah. I'm gonna have that same tail, tap it off the side. I'm gonna do the same exact thing with the thicker gel. I'm gonna set it to the cuticle area, just like this. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna swing over the top. Take a look at how the tip of my brush is keeping contact with just the surface. I'm not going to use an acrylic technique of pat and pull. I want to float. It's almost like I'm break dancing on the surface of the nail. I want to be able to swing. See how I'm swinging down with the tip of my brush, capturing the surface of the gel as I'm bringing the product all the way down to the very, very front of the nail with the least amount of effort. That is product control. 
you have to remember that when you are working with a gel, it's not about pat and pull like acrylic. With gel, you wanna be on the surface of the gel, right? You wanna be on it, not in it. It doesn't matter whether you're working again with something like this or you're working with something like this. You have to work on the surface in order for you to get it to run or work from cuticle to free edge like that. Same technique, different consistencies, same technique. Same technique, different consistencies. You have to be on top of the gel instead of in the gel. Nice, thank you bro. Got it. Oh.